This Benson High School basketball star is in critical condition nearly two weeks after the shooting that claimed one of his legs. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. Someone shot 17-year-old Keyshawn Henderson near 42nd in Sprague. That was the night of September 23rd. KETV Newswatch 7's Delon Dillard spoke exclusively with the teen's mother tonight. Delon. And Julie, the point guard was prepared to play basketball at the next level, but now the 17-year-old is fighting for his life. Benson High senior Keyshawn Henderson just accepted a full ride scholarship to a college in Illinois. He's been on varsity basketball team with Benson High ever since he was a freshman. But the night after her son signed with Judson University, his life changed. I got a call that my son's car was taped off about 930. And I went to the scene and saw the car, but my son was not there. Hours later, she found out her son was in surgery. He'd been robbed and shot several times near 42nd and Sprague. There was a bullet that went from the top of the, um, like the bottom of the lung, into the leg. Doctors had to amputate his right leg, and due to complications, the 17-year-old is now in a coma. They don't know if he'll be back restored to his same mental state um, when he does, because he has some um, brain cells that he kind of lost in the, in the swelling. This is a good kid you know, did not deserve any of this. Um, and you never would think, you know, that it would happen to you. Henderson carries a slew of accolades on the court and most importantly, in the classroom. I would have just never thought him. He's one of the kids where you don't really have to correct a lot. Now his classmates, teachers and coaches are covering him with prayers and love while his family fights to stay strong. If I'm always weak, I can't give him any strength when I go in there to the side of his bed to talk to him. So I'm trying to remain hopeful. Now, his mother says the suspects who robbed and shot her son were arrested. We are still waiting to get that information confirmed by OPD. His family has a GoFundMe account set up and we'll have that information on our website, KETV.com.